Hi everyone, welcome back from the title. You guys know today we have another quick review or comparison video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Longshan Lei Priyachi Tong. This is the request video. Wonderful Sabi asked me to do the review of this size. This is the small size. This one also one of my giveaway pieces. In this video, besides I review this size, I also wanted to add two more size that are in my collection. One is the top handle in the medium size. The other one is the top handle in the small size. In this video, we will talk about the measurement size and how to use as well as the last part. I want to demonstrate how do I wash them by using water or soap. I also will insert some model shot for your reference on 52. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Longshan has uh, many different sizes and style handbag and uh, Lei Priyaji is the most popular and the best sell in their fashion house. The one I have is the small size and I personally feel that small size is perfect for everyday use. The measurement of the small size from here to here is 11 inch from the bottom from here to here is a 10 inch, from here to here is 10 inch, and the deep is 6 inch. The handle drop is 8.25 inch. Long handle bag comes with two sizes, one is a small like this one, the other one is a large size. Feature of this handbag, the whole bag is made up from nylon. Inside is just one compartment, on the back there they do have a little pocket is the piece of the leather and the handle also made for the leather and the top is the zipper closure pretty safe and the button is a gold hardware in here you will see the logo and as well as the button then they put the Longchamp 1948 the best part of this handbag that you can fold it you don't want to use you just simply just fold it like this basically this is the feature of this handbag very simple so this one current price is 125 US dollar now we come to the top handle bag in the small size let's just get the measurement out of the way for this one this one the top handle small bag from here to here is a 9 inch from here to here is 8.6 inch and the deep is 5 inch I'm going to put it side by side to show you the long handle and the top handles difference so here is the side by side currently this price is 110 and the feature is the same as the long handle one it's the nylon inside is the one compartment has the pocket with the zip closure and a piece of the leather the handle also leather so now we're going to talk about this one this is the top handle in the medium size the measurement is from here to here is 12 from here to here is 11 the deep is 7.8 inch now this handbag I already used over 7 years I cleaned it a couple of times so today I also will show you guys how I clean use the water and the soap and I clean many times this one actually current price this one is 125 US dollar feature also like that one compartment back there that has a pocket so very simple and also have a piece of leather however this one the zipper pull is uh, uh, sober sober hardware I believe they also have the gold hardware of the zipper so now we come talk about the pro of the lay pressure this line and uh, this line they come many many different colors so whatever color you like you can pick this is the best feature of this line very light handbag it is very practical it's good for the everyday work bag and also good for weekend bag and travel bag because it can fold it so you can put it in luggage so you can put your uh, handbag like uh, such as when I use the Never 4 I'll go to the travel I bring the Never 4 GM but the inside I will put top handle launching bag or long handle launching bag because this is so easy to carry especially I have a young kid 
So I always bring this one when I go for the travel. The cone of this handbag is the way I'm a tear. You know, I believe a lot of people already have this handbag and they all the four corner is show wear and tear pretty quick. So I'm gonna show you the seven years of handbag that I use, the wear and tear, how it is. Here's the uh, long shun top handle bag and here is the wear tear. It's the hole, big hole, and like that, like this. So you can see all the. So this one, it is some more than seven years that I use this as a diaper bag. So I highly, highly recommend if you have a young kids, this is a very, very useful handbag. Even though uh, you show the wear and the tear, but I still use it, still continue to use it. I can fit a lot of stuff, especially his toys, you know, I put it there without any problem. It's very light, so it's good for mommy, you know, to carry those handbags. The one I have is the top handle you definitely can choose the one has a long handle which you can wear as a shoulder bag so this is the one that i like it even though the wear and the tear is pretty scared but i think you still can use you still have a couple years life for this handbag because this is a tote bag and as you can see it's only one compartment if you put everything in this one compartment it's probably you will have a problem to finding things especially the little things like the, like the house key or any small little things so when i use this handbag i always use the bag organizer which is this one if you have any bag organizer you can use this one actually for the never fall i just take this one and use it as a long term handbag and it goes pretty well so the best of the bag organizer, once you use the bag organizer, this handbag becomes very structured. So this is what I like to use the bag organizer. So now I'm going to show you how I clean up use the water and the soap and I use brush to clean my handbag. And I will show you after I clean up, the next day I will continue to film this video and I will show you guys how it look like after wash. So basically this is the hammock I'm going to wash and I will film uh, when I wash this hammock so you guys can take a look. dry out you will see whether the bubble is out or not okay so this is the second day and uh, just quickly to share with you after i wash how it look like as you can see uh, i do see the bubble there you see that but it's just tiny bubble that i'm 
water at all. Back there also a little bit bubble. Not too bad at all. And because I fold it, so it do have like a, the line. But this one look like not too bad. Yeah. And the bottom. Now bottom, I do see a little bit of bubble there. There, there, there. Which I really don't mind at all because this is the... Nobody gonna see it. So the most important is the front part that the, looks fine because I always wash them and I really don't see much problem on that or at all. Inside still have a wet the water haven't really dried out and the, the piece of the leather still good. Yeah, I forgot to mention you know this piece of the leather they also have their name on that. Piece of the leather still good. The handle is not 100 percent dry. Continue to dry out them. So yeah, this is still a little bit wet. So overall, this is how I clean up them. And it's pretty clean right now. Yeah. So that's all about today's video. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.